What's up, guys? Keep your hands on 10 and 2 because we're back with episode 4 of 100 CCs, and that's where we have 100 car chats. Today, we are going to be talking about Cadillacs. Inclu uh, this includes the ATS, ATS-V, the, both the sedan and coupe variants, the CTS, and the CTS-V. So without further ado, let's hit the B-roll. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we're on episode four today. Like I said, we're talking about Cadillacs, the ATS, ATS V sedan coupe variants, the CTS, and the CTS V. We are still under the affordable performance car series, which means it is under six figures and it goes fast. So we'll start off with the Cadillac ATS. Mm -hmm. Cadillac ATS starts with a 2.0 liter four cylinder turbo engine that comes in automatic, manual, and an automatic all wheel drive. Um, now these are, uh, keep them again, two liters. That's it. It's a four cylinder engine. It's small, but it makes decent horsepower. It makes close to 300 horsepower ish. Yeah. Um, so it's not bad. Uh, they cost roughly $34,000 for the automatic and the manual. The automatic all wheel drive is $36,000, which makes sense. It's an extra system in there. So, let's see. Um, well, today we're a little more equipped with information. So, today I can actually talk about the interior options and everything like that a little more in depth. So, right now we have options for seating and wheels and everything. So, with starting with the wheels ground up, we have the option of a 17 inch wheel, which is stock. And then you can upgrade it to a number of different 19 inch wheels. Uh, the differences being color, style, stuff like that, you know, different spoke, uh, different spokes and everything. But for the most part, the upgrades are all going to be 19 inches. Now, if we go up a little more, we're getting into the seats, you know, comfort, luxury, stuff like that, because it's Cadillac. Cadillac is a luxury brand. So, the seats. The stock version of the seats will have leatherette, so kind of a false leather, leather feeling type of seat. So they're gonna be not, they're not that bad, but you can upgrade them to two other options of all leather seats. The two options being just different colors. Uh, all leather seats, their seats are pretty good. Again, Cadillac's fairly well known for their, for their cars. They do well um, for what they make. And so you're not gonna be, you know, you're not gonna be wanting too much more in the car as far as comfort goes. The options, are you know anywhere from a couple hundred dollars to a thousand dollars a piece just depending on what you pick and everything um like the seat package there's an actual seat package which isn't just the leather but on top of that it's heated vented 20 point uh electric seat adjustments um electric telescoping steering wheel so instead of having a manual lever you have the little knob for both the chairs and the steering wheel and you have a load of other stuff keep in mind the seats do have safe options Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, so. <clears throat> that being said, I think there's also different options. With the ATSs, you have a carbon black package, which is styling. Yes. Um, actually, all of these cars we're talking today has a carbon black option. It's all styling stuff. It is black accents. It's more aggressive looking. And they already look nice. They're big cars, but they look aggressive. They look sporty. So, I mean, to just have those little bit of accents is really nice. But it's a little more expensive. It's not going to be the $34,000 still. So let's talk about value then. Is $34,000 or thirty-six dollars good for a 2.0 liter four-cylinder turboed engine with a bunch of fairly decent luxury items? For me, I'm not, maybe, maybe. I'm not quite convinced yet. Um, just because of the engine, that's a lot of money for a very small engine. You know, Roughly, I think it's what, 260 some horsepower, something like that? 200? Around there, barely, maybe hitting 300, but like, this is a very minuscule amount of horsepower. So then, I mean, eh, eh, there's better, there's better cars for that money, uh, yeah. comfort wise, you know. Um, so, I mean, you can get bigger cars too, uh, like the 
uh, Mercedes has some of their what GLAs and stuff like that. They're smaller SUVs that are sporty, that are somewhat sporty, about thirty-eight thousand dollars with a little more interior stuff, a little more power. So it's really not bad. Um, but you know, if you want to stay American, Cadillac's a good way to go, and they're not doing too bad on the value. It's um, so. But with that being said, we'll move on to the 3.6 liter V6 engines, which are twin turbo, which come, you know, they have their luxury. Um, they're all luxury, they say luxury, you know, but the same thing, automatic manual, automatic all wheel drive. Now, how much do these run around? The 3.6? Yeah. They start, they have the three packages, so the auto is 44,000, manual is 46,000, and then the automatic all wheel drive is 47,000. So 44, 46, 47. Yes. All right, so, and these are running 400, some, what, 60, what? Well, the 464 horsepower comes in there, twin turbo 3.6. Yeah, that's what we're talking yeah. about. Yeah. So, 464 horsepower. It's 21 shy of a 6.4 liter V8 engine in the Challenger we are in right now. Yes. That is a lot of power. Um, right, especially in the Calyx, which I... Which they're big cars still, just like the Challengers, and that twenty, and you know it's twenty-one less, but it's still a good bit of power. That's, that's we're not talking small number, so it'll move, regardless of how big the car is, it'll move. So you're already a step up from the three point uh, from the two point zero liter um, four cylinders. Now it is another like ten thousand dollars. For the bigger engine but it's also a huge increase in power also on top of that you still have the same luxury options um the wheels the the leather all the perform uh, the driver packages i believe there's a performance pack right yeah. Yeah. that's a performance pack so it's probably going to have a little bit of extra come to a little bit of better styling it's going to look overall better um and, you know, it's a performance package. Take it as you will, what that means to you and whether it's worth $40,000, $47,000. Um, but, so then let's talk about value compared to other cars that we've talked about already. Since we've already done Challengers, why not Challenger? $44,000 between the Challenger Scat Pack, 6.4 liter V8 engine with 485 horsepower. Let's move on because we rambled that a little bit. The V's, the ATS V, yeah. which is, I'll let you run the detail. ATS V, 3.6 liter twin turbo engine that's running or pumping at 464 horsepower. Starts at 61,000 as sedan, 63,000 as coupe. That's not that's not cheap, ladies and gentlemen. No. 61,000 to 63,000 can get you a whole lot of car. Yeah. But the V's are not just a 3.6 liter. It's not just the same engine as the normal ATS. No. It is suspension upgrades, brake upgrades, tire upgrades, um, exterior styling upgrades. It, everything about it has been taken up a notch except the engine. But again, it's a lot of power. 464 horsepower is nothing to like look past. Right? That'll get you around where you need very quickly so when you have also when you add the suspension and stuff like that it ups your times so if you want to go to a track right some people like to take it to a track some people want to take it um racing or they just like having fun with it it's really well handling it take it turns really well it stops really well the tires don't slip they're they're good they're they're meaty they're sticky they do what they need to do which when you compare to maybe I say, what do you think? What, what sixty-one thousand dollars, sixty-three thousand dollars? You know, sixty-one's for the sedan, yeah, and sixty-three for the coupe. <laughs> what, what, what car in your mind could immediately like compete with that? Hmm. At the same, like, it offers the same stuff, right? Same, like, like performance, something you know, performance, whatever, something that price that you I'm thought about Corvette. buying for that Corvette. I'm thinking Corvette. Uh, Grand Sport. Yeah. Or Grand, uh, Stingray. Uh, Actually, the Stingrays. Stingray. Stingray, yeah. All right, so the Stingrays have um, roughly that much power, right? Four hundred something power, uh, under four, under five hundred. I think it's around five hundred. 
around five o'clock, somewhere around there. It's not because I, I, you know, the um, the Corvette. What's the super crazy one? The Z06. The Z06. Yeah. Those. And then, that's and that's like six hundred some horsepower, and those are those are getting reputations for being, you know, dangerous. Yeah. So when you take a Stingray engine like that, which is really tame, but it's still really nice styling. What do you want? Do you want just the power and the performance? Because the Stingray is going to be way lighter. It's a small car. Or do you want the extra luxury to, um, and as a, you know, as something you give up, See, that's would you like to just have a bigger looking car? A Corvette is Corvette, but keep in mind, I'm still one of those guys that has, that likes to have a lot of people in their big cars. Yeah. So I'd have to go with the uh, the Cadillac. Very, very family friend or, or and, yeah. you know. A lot of family or a lot of friend oriented. Yeah. With power. With, with power. power. That's it why. Gets around. That's why, like, I'm a fanboy of Chargers. Because they have power, yet they have room. Mm-hmm. So, and then, like we already said, it's it's already outvalues the Charger yep, yep. at the lower range. And then when you put, bump it up to $61,000, which is hitting, Hellcat. you know, used Hellcat prices or, you know, brand new, fully upgraded three uh, 392s, mm-hmm. it's still there because it's still more luxurious on the inside. And it's, I would argue, slightly more aggressive looking. And just purely based on the fact that the suspension has been changed, the brakes have been upgraded, stuff like that. Well, yeah, the SRT versions have six-piston Brembo's, but so do these. Yeah. You know, these are big brakes, too. But, again, suspension upgrades, tire upgrades, um, all that stuff adds up to be pretty, pretty damn good value for that kind of price. And, again, when you're talking about competitors of that similar price for performance, you're going to Corvettes and stuff. Which is a different market and completely different styling, completely different like options. So I think you've hit a pretty good value at that point with these cars. Obviously not cheap. No. 61's never going to be considered cheap, but it's still affordable at, in some way, shape, or form. So, okay, with that being said... We're where we need to be right now. When we come back, we will hit the CTSs. Yeah. And these are the big boys. So we hope you guys are still around at the cut. And we'll see you next time. talking about CTSs and CTSVs this time. Yep, yep. <clears throat> so, CTS. Two liter, four cylinder, turbocharged, 260 horsepower engine. That is the starting CTS, and they come in a turbo and a luxury edition. Hold up. Um, they start at $46,000, and then the luxury edition starts at $52,000. And on top of that, the gas mileage on these things are actually really amazing. For these two, uh, these two liter ones, you get 22 um, city and then 30 uh, the highway. That's that's really good. And he said 46 and 53 thousand dollars. 52 thousand. 52 thousand. Yeah. That's it's cheaper than the ATSV, and these things are really good. The the CTSs are nice. They look nice. To 3.6 liter uh, V6 engine that's been pumping out 420 horsepower. Okay, so it's lower than the twin turboed ATS, mm-hmm. 3.6 uh, liter. And how much are these? These start at the luxury starts at 54,000, and then the premium luxury starts at 59,000. So about $10,000 more than the ATS 3.6 yeah. liters. Let's move on to the CTSV, the big one that everyone talks about. If you've been on Motor Trend, they love this car. Car and driver, they love this car. A lot of people love this car. It is mean. It is loud. It is fast. fast. And it is one hell of a car, but it's not cheap. No. So it's a, the, CTS, the CTSV starts with a 6.2 <coughs> V8 engine. Which I would like to add. 
is the same size engine of the Hellcats unsupercharged. Six point two liter V eight. That is a big engine. And they're pumping out six hundred and forty horsepower. Which is sixty off the Hellcat. It, it's such a good car. GTSVs have done a lot of things right that are akin to the uh, Camaro v- Z28, which, which some people consider to be one of the best track handling cars out there because Chevy just developed it so well. And then think about it. Chevy is GM. Cadillac is GM. Similar tech. You know, they've got similar things to them. So you know it's going to be a good car. And then, you know, you've got other, like again, then do you want to go to Mercedes? Oh, right? Yeah, From it's... there, do you want to go to a Mercedes and buy like maybe an AMG, a low end AMG? Which, you know, AMG, if you know Mercedes, AMG is their performance spec, and those are some of the best cars out there that you can buy without absolutely destroying your bank account up until a certain point. But same thing with BMW and their M series, you could do really well with that. So then you have international competitors but again where you live do you have those dealers near you do you can you go to a a mercedes dealership like you could to a cadillac dealership so then part of that value is the convenience of being able to buy one you can go to a cadillac dealership. it's american so they're gonna be everywhere versus the nearest mercedes dealership to where we are now is most likely like well like eight cities over it's not close and we'd have to go out of our way to get one when we could literally go to three different um, uh, Cadillac dealerships within half an hour of where we are so it's convenient that's a value factor right there that's really big so would I buy the CTSV yes would I recommend the CTSV yes do you have the money for it maybe not could you buy one used Yes, yes definitely and buying one used is not a bad idea. Just do your research. You know, any smart buyer, do your research. Make sure you know the car is safe and it's you know it's been inspected and everything, and it's a good, it's a good safe car. So, anything else you want to add? No, I think we've covered all our points today. What would you pick of all the cars? So, thank you for watching episode four of 100 CC. And we will see you in the next show.